Day five of Veda. Ladies and gentlemen, you should be so proud of me. I'm proud of myself. I have five videos in a row. What can I say? Listen, today I'm doing my first ever book review by a producer friend, extraordinaire, entrepreneur. He's produced from everybody from Abso to Kendrick Lamar to E-40 to Murs to Glasses Malone. The prosperous hip hop producer, bam, by my man Curtis King. Indy Jones, back with a trendy flow. I'm still trying to find my voice in this hip scenario. Here we go. So for my first ever book review, I gotta give it up. This is the first Full book I've read in a minute. My brother Curtis King with his first ever book. His first book I read in a couple years all the way through. Curtis King with his first ever book. It's called The Prosperous Hip Hop Producer. Man, I, I just finished this book today. For starters, I gotta thank my brother for just getting me back into reading. I used to love to read books. About five, six years ago, I just went through a season of reading and learning as many books as I could. And then there was like a mental switch where it was like, all right, now it's time to go apply everything I've learned and build my business. And so now this book sent to me really ignited that fire in me to get back to reading books. So I got this and then I got Gary V's crushing it in the queue. Now I've listened to audiobooks. Don't think I'm just here winging it and not learning anything. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. This is the first time I've sat down with a physical book and it reminded me how much I enjoyed physically reading books. So for those of you guys who don't know who Curtis King is, shame on you. He's a friend of the channel. He's a personal friend of mine. I've known Curtis, man, probably about six years, seven years. His channel is excellent. I learn a lot. I've gleaned a lot from him. He's multifaceted, a lot like myself. We're about the same age. I don't know if he's a year older or a year younger than me. And we have a lot of things in common. Our birthdays are like a month apart. Um, this is one of my favorite people, man. We've done quite a few songs together. He's produced for some of my records. He did a title track on Americana. We've done some events together. Uh, I'm very fond of Curtis King on many different levels for many different reasons. This book was really cool for me to read because I, I kind of could fit where our relationship started and I was almost able to insert my first couple interactions with him and then as we got to know each other and certain events that he mentioned in the book that I was at and just seeing his evolution was incredible. Curtis King started out as a rapper producer. He produced for artists like Kendrick Lamar, Ab Soul, Murs, E-40 and he's done the Pay Deuce Festival. He's been on tour with Murs. He's an accomplished artist as well. Album went number four on iTunes. This book really follows his journey, but in a very cool format. It follows the format of how he produces his beats, meaning the entire book is outlined in the way he's actually producing his beats. So chapter one is about the tempo and then the snare, the kick, the swing, the highest, the sample, the melody, the bass, the structure of the beat, mix the beat, play the beat, share the beat, the producer and air. Basically, the way he makes beats and his process for making beats is the format in which he wrote the book, which was not only a fun way to read the book, but it was also refreshing to see him tie in production as a metaphor for his life and how he laid out his life experiences in the same way that he lays out beats and his take on the swing of the drums. I actually learned a lot as a producer in terms of his swing of drums and how to humanize sounds and what a snare means to him. Like it really hit me on so many different ways, creatively, personally. So I really appreciated that about the book. It inspired me to produce. I've been getting back into producing. So it got me into producing, but this is not a book about beat production. This is a book about someone's journey of creating a business through and from music in an unorthodox way, which obviously as an independent artist, I strongly relate to. Curtis King ties in some really interesting elements we don't talk enough about regarding mental health, regarding physical health and taking care of yourself, eating right. He ties in, he ties in financial literacy and it reminded me how big financial literacy is and how many of us just didn't grow up with it. And I read the chapter about him making financial mistakes, a lot of the same things I did. And 
There's so many different things this book covers, but it's laid out in such a dope linear fashion. The part that I love about this book, and I tell producers about this all the time, I probably should be telling them this more on the channel, is he lands on this idea that producers need to get away from just trying to chase placements and just trying to land records on major labels because that's where people think the money is and to build their own businesses in the internet web space of leasing beats through SoundClick, Airbit, BeatStars. And he really breaks down how in his first three months of leasing beats, which took him several years to get into, he thought about the idea, but he was afraid to pull the trigger on it. It took him several years to finally make the decision to do it. But in his first three months, he said he made more money, he made $12,000 in his first three months leasing beats than he had his entire career as a placement producer, meaning landing beats for Absol and landing beats for MERS and landing beats for E4, all these different big placements. He got Glasses Malone. He made more money in the first three months as a lease producer than he did chasing a placements game. And so if you're a producer, if you're a creative in general, you need to go subscribe to Curtis King's channel. But if you're a producer specifically, you have to check out this format. I'm not saying everybody should lease beats. Actually, I am saying that. If you're a producer, you should have a beat leasing page. It just doesn't make sense for artists, especially independent artists, to pay two, three, four hundred dollars for an exclusive beat uh, when streaming is changed everything. The cash flow in music isn't the same because of streaming. People are making good money, but it's more spread out versus back in the day. You could recoup in your first week as an independent artist. So even me as a as somebody that people come to for consulting, I don't encourage people to buy exclusive beats anymore. I tell them to either make their own beats or go lease beats. And if you're a producer, it's a simple way to cater to the market. He lays out how we did it. He lays out how he built the business, tips and little strategies and tactics. So if you're a producer, you absolutely have to read this book. It even ends with a bonus chapter um, for resources for producers. And it's like the, what is it called? It's the, uh, what do I need to do to get started in the beat leasing business? He has a chapter on there about that. And then he has another bonus chapter where it's like, why my beats aren't selling. Again, love this book. Highly recommend this book. The place where it kind of lands, and I've been talking about this frequently on my channel, is value. What are you doing to add value to your audience? What are you doing to add value to the people you're attempting to build relationships with? What do you hope, what problem are you looking to solve? What are you teaching? What value are you leaving with the world? He lands in a place where through all of his turmoil, all his issues, he finally became successful, but he discovered this idea of value and he describes it so eloquently. Um, you've heard me talk about it. I highly encourage you guys to check out the book. I think there's an audio version coming to uh, Curtis King, the prosperous hip hop producer. It's my first ever book review. Sorry I didn't get all deep, but man, it took me a while to read this book, to be honest, because I just haven't been accustomed to reading. I had some travel. I was flying some places. I read on an airplane. And then the past couple days, I was just like, man, let me just finish out these last four chapters. It's not very long. It's about 220 pages. You can probably read it in about five, six hours. Uh, again, I spread that out, but I'm very grateful I read this book, man. Shout out to Curtis King. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. Get the book. Check out the book, I think you guys really like it. Veda, day five, baby. Hey, the way this channel is gonna grow is by you guys personally sharing these videos. By personally, I literally mean personally. I mean like some of the videos I've been dropping this week, how to get on a radar, record labels, what three weeks on tour taught me. Those are, man, there's a lot in there. So this is what I want you guys to do. Those of you guys that have been watching every day, text the video to somebody that needs it. This video right here that we just did, talking about Curtis King. Man, text this to somebody that's a producer that's struggling, not making money. This should inspire them. This book review, Curtis King, should inspire them. Share the content. All these different social media platforms have their own algorithms. We're gonna beat the algorithms by you guys sharing the videos personally. I appreciate everybody that shares it on social media, but I think sharing these personally to people that need this stuff is really gonna be the way that we build this thing and build this channel and viewership, all that kind of stuff. So thank y'all so much, man. I appreciate you guys. God bless. Peace. Far away from him, incognito. Came in one way, incognito. Not leaving the same. Stop. Run LA 
right here unannounced Nothing worse than a game with no crown And I, and I Don't fit in or pretend that you blend like a front out of town God stepped in and said, oh, the account Now you don't know what to do with the pounce Take a few of the house, make it true till it's ours I'm producing amounts to seduce the house I am so Ouch Wound is still exposed to add the summer salt Incognito We gon' flip it unexpected and run it all Mind your business and I envision the goal Messiah's is in it so I elicit the growth The ride is finished so I am pushing the hope So, so I am so incognito